Just a reminder, finish, finish, finish. Have a sense when the game is on the line and finish it. Be vigilant and fight for every yard. And remember we started the week. Together we are one. All year long, together we are one. I'll prepare. I'll take a team known for superior preparation. I'll execute and I'll perform a team known for superior execution. Have more fun, man. Have more fun. Enjoy this. Enjoy this. Play hard. Hit hard. Play smarter. Play with greater intensity. Put a smile on our faces and go for it. We're here for one reason, and that's to win. We've got to let all our God-given ability ride to the surface. Go for it. You learn that whatever you're doing in life, obstacles don't matter very much. Pain or other circumstances can be there, but if you want to do a job bad enough, you will find a way to do it. I want to leave you with one thing tonight. I hope you have the time of your life. I hope you have the time of your life. Because you've earned it. I've stayed away from the personal part of this thing all the way through. And I think probably Mike Hope can stand up here with me and Grace certainly knows what I'm talking about. Jerome Collins has got one. I'm going to just give you a couple thoughts about my experience, okay? And really, what I'm saying to you is, this is, this is what I want for you. This is what I want for each one of you. Because you've earned it, and you deserve it. Coaches in the back of the room, players seated up front. You have earned this. And this is what I want for you. In 1990, when I was an assistant coach with the New York Giants, we had to go the road. We had to beat San Francisco out there in the NFC Championship game to play in the Super Bowl. Now they, we had to pack for two weeks because it was a one-week game. Desert Storm was going on. There was not even the, the assurance early on in the season that there would be a Super Bowl because, quite frankly, it was a dangerous time. We went to San Francisco in a hellacious game against a great football team. We got a turnover late. We took the ball down and hit the field goal and we won. We won. Now we go to Tampa, we land at 4 o'clock in the morning. We roll in there. It's a one week game. We're out of bed at 7. We're in the uh, game plan room. We're going to play the Buffalo Bills. We scored all kinds of points, broke all kinds of records. No huddle. Jim Kelly up and down the field. The whole deal. Well, they had beat us. The Buffalo Bills beat us at the end of the season. We were 10 0, went 3 and 3 in the last six weeks of the season. Buffalo beat us in New York. Well, nobody figured we ain't. How, 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 is, how the Giants going to beat these guys? Just running and gunning, whatever they called that offense at that time. We get in the game. There's a helicopter I'm in the press box. There's a helico helicopter gunship right here, hovering right over. There's armed guards. When we came into the stadium, we had to go through the metal detectors, the whole bit ourselves. Everybody, that, that was the climate of the game in 1990. It was a heck of a game back and forth. We held the ball for 40 minutes on him. It came down to one kick. The score was 20 to 19. They had a 47 yard field attempt. <coughs> we were all standing in the press box. Snap the hold, the kick. The kick is wide right. We all in unison jump up in the air because the feeling that comes over you is we are the world champions. And I'm not saying that you're nothing to do with family or the birth of your children or anything like that. I'm just saying from a professional standpoint, what I want for all of you is that feeling. Because when Marshall Falk talked about being on top of the mountain, that's what it feels like. All of a sudden, it comes to you. You are the champions of the world. And it sends goosebumps on top of my goosebumps now. And that was in 1990. And the things that you see, when I came into the locker room, we had picked up Steve Diossi and Everson Walsh from the Dallas Cowboys, who at that point in time were getting their butts kicked by everybody. We pick them up, they win the world championship. Here's two 
guys in the middle of the floor hugging each other, crying like baby. They just won the world championship. And I remember going to the back door and opening the door and letting my, my boys into the locker room. And they're seeing this and they're running around. It's not just about you. It's your whole family feels it. Your whole family, whether it's your dad, your mom, your brothers, your sisters, your everybody, your wife, they're all world champions. It's the greatest professional feeling in the world, the greatest satisfaction you ever have for one moment in time. And we're sitting here Saturday night with one 60-minute game to play for a chance to become the world champion. I know they're a hell of a football team. No, they're 18 and old. Naturally, they're a hell of a football team. I know the heart of the people in this room, too. And I know the fight that's going to be in the battle. And I know it's going to be every play, every snap. You're going to go as hard as you can possibly go because you got your eye on that prize. Hey, Giants fans. Saquon Barkley here. You want to see more videos? Subscribe below.